In today's video guys, I will show you some Windows settings which will improve your experience in CS2. This video will boost your FPS and fix in-game lag. So without wasting the time, let's dive into video. We are going to begin with simple CPU improvements. These will help you a little with the overall boost in CPU performance, but keep in mind that these small changes, if done correctly, can add up to give a much bigger effect on FPS and overall delay improvements as well. To start, the first thing you need to do is right-click on your taskbar and open the task manager. Then, go to the startup tab and turn off any software that you don't want to start with your Windows. Don't worry, this will not change how any of these applications work. It will just stop them from loading with Windows, which will improve your startup time and lower the load on your CPU right after startup, giving you more CPU power for your games. Go through this entire list and turn off any applications you don't need. To turn one off, simply click on the application and then click the disable button. In the next step guys, go ahead and open up the start menu, go to settings, and then to the gaming section. Make sure that the Xbox game bar is turned off. I know some of you might use it for clipping games, but it actually impacts performance by running in the background. You can use alternatives like OBS or Nvidia Shadowplay instead. Just disable the Xbox game bar. Then go to the game mode setting and make sure this is turned on. Game mode has been improved with each Windows update, so it's worth enabling. Now, go to graphics settings. Then browse to locate the CS2 executable file and set it to high performance. Now, let's move on to some advanced settings that will have a greater impact on performance. First, I want you to disable high precision event timer. PET is an inbuilt Windows tool for synchronizing multimedia playback but can take away CPU power needed for gaming. To disable it, open Device Manager, go to System Devices, find PET, right click, and select Disable Device. Alright, here's a quick tip just a simple adjustment I'd like you to try. Open up Task Manager, go to Services, and scroll down to the bottom. Look for Xbox Auth Manager. Xbox Game Saved, Xbox Chip SVC, and Xbox Net. You'll want to turn off these three. Personally, I don't use the Xbox Control Panel, and most of you watching likely won't need it either. If you're using Xbox Game Bar to capture clips, it's better to turn that off too. I'll go over this more in a second, but first, right-click on each and hit stop. That's all you need to do for each of them. Once you're done, you'll need to restart when the video ends, which is totally fine. Simple tweaks like these can make a big difference to your PC's performance, so I strongly suggest giving it a go. Alright guys that was today's video, I hope you liked this hit the like button and make sure to subscribe my channel, peace out.